Hi everybody, welcome to Storytime with Fairfield County Library. My name is Messina and I am so excited for Storytime today. Are you guys ready? Okay, awesome. This week our theme is birthdays. That means this week we are going to be reading books that are all about cakes and candles and birthday parties. All right, our first book is 10 Rules of the Birthday Wish, according to Beth Ferry and Tom Lichtenheld, and published by G.P. Putman Sons. There are, there most definitely are, 10 very specific, tried and true, and absolutely essential rules for the making of a birthday wish. In case of any confusion about the number of rules, place hands here. This many. Rule number one, it must be your birthday or close to your birthday. Sometime in the last week or next week, your age should have increased by one, unless you are a beetle, bug, or insect. If your life cycle is a month or a week or sniff sniff, only a single day, please celebrate immediately ASAP, flutter, flap, fly, right on over to rule number two. Rule number two, you must have a party, a celebration, hoopla, or jamboree. There should be games and laughter and definitely hats. Hats immediately elevate the party mood. Food is also a good idea. See rule number three. As are streamers, confetti, and balloons. Unless... You are a rhinoceros. If you are a rhinoceros, a swordfish, a sea urchin, or pointy in any way, you may want to skip the balloons. Rule number three. You must have a cake or cannoli or cream puffs or churros. Your dessert does not specifically have to start with the letter C, even if some of the best desserts do. The letter could be P or B or even I. Whatever letter your dessert starts with, it must be sturdy enough to accommodate rule number four. Rule number four, you must have a light or lights to blow out. Traditionally, this would be a candle, but it could also be a sparkler, unless you are a whale or a frog. If you are a whale, you may want to invite some fluorescent jellyfish to your party. If you are a frog, consider using fireflies as your candles and your dessert. Combining rules is completely acceptable. Either way, something light must... Go dark. Rule number five, there must be singing. Traditionally, the happy birthday song, sung happily and loudly and definitely off key, unless your friends are feathered. If 
if you're lucky enough to have friends who can warble, croon, and carry a tune, sit back and enjoy the show. Rule number six, you must close your eyes. Closure your eyes keeps your wish safe inside your head, where it can grow from something ordinary into something extraordinary. Rule number seven, you must take a deep breath. This will ensure the success of rule number nine, unless you are a puffer fish. If you are a puffer fish, Definitely do not take a deep breath because then you will puff up and all your guests will be concerned. Everyone knows a puffed up puffer fish is not a happy puffer fish and a happy is a big part of birthday. Rule number eight, you must make a wish. Just one wish, a single, wonderful, amazing wish. It can be a big wish or a little wish. It can be a now wish or a later wish, but it should definitely be a can't think of anything greater wish. Rule number nine, you must blow out the candles in one single breath, unless you are a camel. If you are a camel, you will most likely spit on the cake as you are blowing out the candles. No one wants to eat cake spritz with camel spit, so please ask your friends to help. Combining breasts is completely acceptable. Rule number 10, don't forget that wish ends in shh. So keep your wish quiet, silent, hush, hush. And when the fun is done and your friends have left and the moon is high in the sky, close your eyes and dream. of your wish coming true. Okay, that was 10 rules of the birthday wish. What'd you guys think? Have you ever blown out a candle before? All right, our next book is The Backwards Birthday Party by Tom Chapin and John Forster, illustrated by Chuck Grenick and published by Anthem Books for Young Readers. On my birthday morning, the sun was sinking low. I put my clothes on inside out and down the stairs did go. The house was decorated, but something was awry. The doorbell rang and all the gang walked in and said goodbye. At the backwards birthday party where everything's out of whack, 
the backwards birthday party. The party day birthwards back. We ate the birthday cake first. Which stirred up quite a fuss. Then we blindfolded the donkey and he pinned the tail on us. The treasure hunt went nowhere, but no one got depressed. Because I wrapped up all my presents and gave one to every guest. At the backwards birthday party where everything's out of whack. The backwards birthday party, the party day backwards back. The ice cream was hot, the candles were not. The longer we kept partying, the earlier it got. The clock was running backwards. It struck three, then two, then one. My party, it was winding down. before it had begun. I said, hello, it's time to go and push them out the door. And I was one year younger than I'd been the day before. At the backwards birthday party where everything's out of whack. The backwards birthday party, the party day birthwards back. Okay, that was the backwards birthday party. Did you guys like it? Did you know there's a song that goes with it? All right, everybody, thank you for joining me for story time. Now, just because we're done reading does not mean we have to be done with story time. If you come down to the library this week, you can pick up a story time kit, which are these fun-filled activity kits that go with the books we read today. Each kit comes with a coloring sheet, a craft, and a tasty recipe that you can make with your grown-ups. This week, our craft is a paper bag crown. 
To get a kit, you need to come to the Fairfield County Library and look for some crates in the children's section. Now we have two crates, one for Mondays and one for Wednesdays. So you wanna make sure you grab the right kits or you could end up with something completely different than what I just showed you. The kits for this story time are in the group B crate. They're the blue ones. New kits come out whenever there's a new story time, but we might have some kits left from last week if you missed it. It never hurts to ask one of the librarians. Maybe ask for me, Miss Nina. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me for story time. Once again, my name's Miss Nina, and I hope to see you in the library this week to pick up a story time kit. It's time to say goodbye, but I look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye!